Thanks so very much, as always, for availing yourself uh, to SABC News, Mr. Piri. It's a pleasure, Flo. Just on an interesting note, it is uh, something to note that uh, the National Director of Public uh, Prosecutions, Adv Advocate uh, Patohi, uh, thought it um, important to have a whole media uh, press briefing to, well, it seemed to address uh, the issue in the beginning of the resignation of Advocate Hemawin Kronia. What do you make of her having something to say? You know, we don't often get, uh, you know, a press briefing from her and was quite interesting indeed uh, to see uh, her seeming to want to uh, address certain things uh, in the media. I mean, a lot of things have in the past been said about the NPN. It was interesting that this time around she felt to address it. What, what did you make of that? Um, so I, th I thought also very interesting, but I thought quite a good move in the sense that the NPA uh, is under pressure, uh, certainly at this point in time, uh, and certainly public trust is being eroded in, in the NPA in the manner they're handling uh, a few of the matters that they're dealing with relating to con corruption, uh, the slow pace around that, and certainly the resignation of Advocate Cronier uh, raised a few alarm bells, uh, at least around the rumors why she would have resigned. So I thought it was a good move for Advocate Botohi to address the elephant in the room head on, so to speak, um, and also then clarify a few of the priority areas for the NPA and how they're doing against those priority areas uh, as a matter of feeding back to, uh, I think, deal with some of the angst that some of us have been feeling for a while now. Yeah. Uh, Advocate uh, Batohi also said that uh, the NPA uh, remains under considerable pressure to perform, which is something you're also alluding to, actually, uh, uh, while you speak. And, and, and you seem to be uh, suggesting that, that that pressure is coming from us, is coming from, from, from the public. Um, but I wonder where else it could, it could be coming from. And, and, and I say this based on the fact that there have been some assertions that the NPA is not as independent as it is and that there's a lot of pressure coming, you know, whether from certain people in, in, in government and, and, and so I'd like clarity in terms of where you believe that pressure uh, for the NPA to perform is, is really coming from. Yeah, I think there are sort of a few dimensions to the pressure. I think there is an institutional dimension. Um, I think it's not a secret that the NPA is not properly capacitated. Uh, certainly even Advocate Batohi saying that, uh, you know, the type of complex uh, corruption cases that they're dealing with, they don't necessarily have the skills. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the courts, we see it all the time. Uh, the prosecutors are just not uh, keeping the bar and, uh, and sticking to the mark. So I think there is an institutional pressure that's arising from that. Um, I think there is potentially an independence question, uh, uh, you know, because, you know, the NPA is still very much lodged within government and not necessarily always free to make the type of decisions that, for instance, the office of the OCJ uh, may make uh, to safeguard um, that independence as an organization. So I think there are a few factors that are contributing uh, to this pressure. And certainly those two aspects or those two uh, parts of it are contributing to creating this um, uh, pressure cooker that Advocate Batohi has uh, alluded to today. And is it true, uh, though, you know, as the advocate speaks, I think the thing she wanted to emphasize the most or what I got out of uh, that address was uh, she really wanted to make it clear that there is no crisis uh, at uh, at the, the, the NPA. I mean, given the fact that there's been, um, I'll, I'll say, severe criticism really towards uh, the NPA about, uh, I'll give the biggest example really in terms of prosecutions um, since the inquiry into allegations of uh, state capture. Why would we not say uh, there is, is no crisis? I mean, we've had this um, uh, state capture commission going on for so long. One would have thought at least there'd be a couple of uh, prosecutions that, that came out of that as we've made this big thing about there having been uh, state capture. So surely that's, that, that, that's already kind of giving people ideas that there might be some problem, that there might be some sort of, of crisis. Yeah, I, I think certainly to have um, a, a leader, a senior uh, individual like Advocate Cronier resign, uh, I've certainly had the pleasure of working with her and I know she's extremely astute and capable. Um, and for her to resign within sh such a short period of time on such an important project for the country uh, through her office, I think that does raise questions which 
maybe Advocate Batohi did not answer sufficiently today. Um, but, you know, in her defense, in respect of the ID, it is an organization that uh, is effectively new insofar as the criminal justice system in the country is concerned. And I think we all knew that it would take a bit of time to capacitate that to the requisite level uh, for, you know, to deal with the, the, the allegations emanating out of the state capture inquiry. She did speak around some of the secondments from the other different uh, departments that took a while to get up to stream uh, and, and into the organization. So I think that you know, explanation is somewhat understandable, mm -hmm. but certainly the time is not, you know, on Advocate Batohi's side here. And, you know, we all want to see uh, some kind of action emanating from what we heard and which we were shocked about within the state capture inquiry. All right. It's always a pleasure having you on the show. We hope you'll certainly join us again when we have uh, some legal issues to dissect. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure. All right. That is uh, Ritu Mitzi Benedict uh, Piri, the Managing Director at uh, Prudentia uh, Specialist Tech Council, as well as a legal analyst uh, uh, for us, weighing in on Advocate Shamila uh, Batohi's uh, media briefing this morning.